Wake that ass up early in the morning. The Breakfast Club. All right, we started over. Morning, everybody. It's DJ Envy, Angela Yee, Charlamagne the Guy. We are The Breakfast Club. We got some special guests joining us this morning, Barbara and Ernest Smiles. Welcome, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Good thank morning. You. Listen, it is Black History Month, so we got to salute, you know, uh, great black people doing great black things. And uh, these 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 contraptions we're wearing on our face are the smile shields designed by Barbara and Ernest Smiles. Tell us what the smile shields are. I mean, the smile shields are just basic customized face shields that you can put your own design on your company, your brand. Uh, we have different styles, bedazzle, luxury. Uh, what else you want to tell me? We them? also have different partners, Pageant Beauty, we're about to launch with Shabia from the Housewives of Atlanta with the first ever face shield mask combo. So really the smile shield is an opportunity to add your personality uh, to the face shield during this pandemic. Oh, was this the mask that they was wearing when they had the stripper and they were stripping and the stripper was stripping and they were kissing each other through the mask? Was that the same mask? Uh, this, this wasn't the stripper mask. Not All this right. one. <laughs> those, those are some just some of the basic masks. If you look, they were very plain. This and ours and what the difference, they do have these. Um, these um, stylish ones for themselves, but the stripper mask, no, this wasn't the stripper That wasn't, mask. yeah, all right, just asking. No. When did y'all decide to create Smile Shield and how did it take off so fast? Yeah, well, I mean, honestly, we thought about this before it became a product. We knew that the pandemic would be a billion dollar industry. So our goal, I was getting my MBA at Syracuse University. This was actually a project on my final semester and it was turned down by my project class. So they turned it down and I said, I took it over to my wife and said, hey, this is going to work. We're going to do stylized face shields, not face masks, you know, and, and that's where it came about. And the reality is your last name really smiles because that's kind of perfect. Yes, it, it, is. it is. It, it is. It is <laughs> Ernest Smiles. It is Barbara Furlo Smiles. This is our real name. <laughs> and I'm the marketing genius. So he brings it home and literally he brought on a basic one. And you know how women do. I'm like, we got to take it to the next level. Really, the reality is I wear makeup. I like to be fashionable. So I didn't like what was out there. And so I'd been complaining for a while. And so I saw the vision. And so we looked at our last name. We got the name together. And then, you know, with me getting my MBA from UCLA, we went right to the registrar's office to trademark the name. What we found out is that over 10,000 people were already on game two. So there were already applicants for masks and shields. And so we knew that we had something. And with e-commerce and social media, we went straight to IG and literally have been booming ever since. Now, this is great. Now, you know, sometimes people think just because someone else has an idea, they can't do it. But really, you can have an idea that other people are doing, but market it better than everybody else and I really think, succeed. And I, I think, um, Angela, that was really the strategy was I knew we had a marketing strategy that had no, nothing to do with just the product itself. Like you said, you start off with a great product, but you have to have a marketing strategy of how you're gonna bring awareness. So brand awareness for us, literally 94% of our uh, customers are through Instagram. Yep. I mean, I'll get in, in DMs and I've uh, garnered partnerships through Instagram. I mean, it's it's been me just stirring the pot, my wife as well, uh, and people have just reached out to us Anywhere from from Beyonce stylist uh, reached out to us and said, you know, hey, we, we want to get one of the couple of those shields. Right. And can you get some from Chloe and Haley? Yeah. You know, something as simple as that turned into more, you know. Mm -hmm. well, this is great because I know with my daughter and my wife, they hate the mask because they say a lot of times my daughter's face will break out here because of the mask. So this is actually right. very, very good. And it doesn't fog. I've been trying to make it fog up. <sighs> it doesn't fog up. Nope. So, but it stinks. I bet it stinks in there. My breath is good. <laughs> we want to absolutely make sure, though, that the mask, I mean, the face shield is an addition to a mask. Um, it's not an exception. It's an, it's an addition. We get that a lot. And that's why we have launched with Shamir from the Atlanta Housewives. Coming out in about another week, the face mask, face shield matching combo. So that's why we, we always want to make sure that people know the state mandate says mask as well. Because people get us in trouble and they're waiting to say, hey, you said you can only wear this. It's like, no, we said this is an addition, a little more style to what you got going on. 
No. Let me ask you a question, Barbara and Ernest. What What have you learned about yourselves and your business during the past year? Woo, faith. Oh, man, faith. <laughs> we, we, we call it our four Fs. Yeah. And really, it's about, you know, when this first happened, we, we had a fear, probably like many other people. Like right. myself, I said, well, man, it's, this feels like we're about to go into Will Smith, I Am Legend or something. <laughs> because when the pandemic hit, nobody knew what this really was going to be. So ultimately, we, we learned to have faith first. And then once we, we garnered ourselves in our faith, you know, we, we, we said, okay, it's time to focus mm -hmm. and, and get ourselves on board to figure out what this is going to look, what this new normal, when people started going back to a normal, what this new normal would look like. Um, and then the family pieces, we literally created in six months a six-figure company that's a side hustle. Right. And so what we learn about ourselves is no matter what is happening, you know, we're creative and we're resilient and just really tapping into and meeting the moment where it is. So we've just really been positive throughout this whole process. Now, financially, is this a quit my job and we are doing great <laughs> with this type of venture? Well, I have a really good job in my passion job, so I won't be quitting. Um, but but it, it is it is a platform that has branched off into many other brands. I have a health and beauty app coming out that's actually based through some connections through the Smile Shield. Um, we have some other partnerships that I've developed for you know booking speakers all through this. I'm I'm uh, pitching shoe deals yeah. from uh, Sherelle George, who's the only female Harlem Globetrotter. Uh, through our introduction through this face shield. Right. So what has really happened is Smile Shield has become a community yes. of, of builders, uh, you know, quietly that people haven't really known to now. So. Right. You know, the beauty of this, um, these masks, I believe, even after this pandemic is behind us, I'm still planning on wearing masks mm -hmm. in the airport and, and, and stuff like that. So I'll still be rocking like Smile Shield and like my cloth mask. Do, do y'all think masks are here for good? Uh, honestly, the product, the um, projection for us was that we would be doing this for at least the next three three years. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So you know, when I did, you know, basically we did financial projections. Yeah. Saying if we sold this amount year one, year two, year three, we could we could make a million dollars selling right. face shields. Right. You know, and then we could take that money reinvest it into our other businesses. Yeah. So when it, to Angela's point. Is this something that's job related that you can quit? Absolutely. I, I I don't have to worry about figuring it out from here as far as I'm concerned. Absolutely. Well, tell them how they can we, get this face mask if they order. want to align. Yeah. How can they order? Oh, yeah. they can absolutely go to smileshield.com. At smileshield.com. Everything else is at smileshield at Instagram. Right. Uh, your Facebook is, is smile, smile shield. shield. Everything you need to know about us, it's Smile Shield. That's it's it. important to know smiles, S M I L E S, and then Shield, S H I E L D. So Smile Why y'all don't get Little Duval to do commercials for y'all? Hey, can yes. you make that connection? What? Let's do it. Yeah, the Smile Shield, Smile, Smile, B Word. Well, we, what we had called Smile. Janice yeah. did one of our lead songs, I Love Your, your smile. smile. If you go to our Instagram, do you can do see do her singing, I Love do Your do Smile. Yes, yeah. yeah, she's doing that. Chinese? As one part. Many commercials. Yeah, Shanice the singer. Yes. Dope. That's dope. Classic record. Now, what about for kids? Yeah. Do you make it for kids as well? Yeah, it's one size fits all. So we have a five-year-old. Um, and that was also the motivation behind it. Our daughter just didn't want to wear anything. And if you can imagine at that age, it really just affects them. And so we started to do something. She's on our website as the uh, children's model. Uh, so you can see her, you can see how it fits her face. But we've also been partnering with schools. So schools are going back to school and, you know, they have to wear face shields and masks. And so they have been really coming to us um, because you can allow personality. If you can imagine kids are creative, you know, so we right. have opportunities to have like Spider-Man and Betty Boop, you know, butterflies. So and, and really what I think to Barbara's point, it makes it very interesting for the child. Right. You know, to to because this is a scary time for some of them. So to see Spider-Man or a Batman or something unique, that's going to get them to say, you know what, I'm I can wear this face shield and not feel like I'm in something scary right now at the present time. And we get feedback literally every day, in particular for moms that say their child doesn't want to take it off. So I think <laughs> those are like the just different feedback we get from folks, we even call it the smiles effect, 
where people will literally DM us and say, this has literally changed my day. When you go out there, the smiles effect is people are stopping you like 10 times out of the day. There are times when I want to be bothered. I don't put a smile shield on because I know <laughs> I will be stopped. I know what people want to know where it's going. And so that's what we're really excited about really with our last name was bringing smiles to people during this just very unprecedented, daunting time for many and allowing people to have some type of control back because many people just shared that they just had lost hope. Um, and so that was really something that keeps this going is that people are really gravitating to the feeling of it. How much does it cost to buy one for people that are watching right now and they're like, okay, I'm gonna log on, but how much is this? Well, I mean, they're, they're different price points starting at $32.99 um, for, for um, Bedazzle, $34.99 to customize your face shield, all the way up to our Miss Teen USA shield, which is $59.99 um, because she's Miss Teen DC USA. Yes. And she designed a pageantry line right. with, with a crown, with crowns and, and something to present her pageantry and, and her actually getting to the point of almost becoming Miss Teen USA. Yeah. Um, Sydney Nicole Jackson is her name. That's what it is. Well, thank so, you so much for joining us, guys. Absolutely. I was going to ask y'all, what, what advice do y'all have for entrepreneurs? That's that's my last question. Um, I honestly don't cut out the noise. Yeah. Go, go for it. Yeah. You know, if you feel you have an idea, you did your research, don't go and ask for all this advice. Yeah. You know, if you believe in it, just do it. Just go out there. And I hate to sound like Nike, but just get out there and, and 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 make it happen. Go through the process. Go through the pain points. Go through the failures so you can create another business. Because this may not be your first business, right. but even if you fail at that particular business, you learn so yeah. much that at least you started. Just keep going. Just keep trying. You know, don't don't be afraid to fail. And the only thing I'll add is move with a sense of urgency. So we literally started this company when we found out about the pandemic, what, two weeks? We got the website up. We got our IG together within one week, and we went straight to market. And it's this term, building the plane while it's flying. Well, we're still doing that. We're still perfecting it. But one of the things is just get out of there because we feel like, in particular people of color, there's some hesitation. I'm like, I don't know, such and such said this. There were many people who thought we were crazy because we have really great jobs. And you're like, why are y'all doing that? You don't have time for that. And then they see the different people who are wearing it. Then they see the income that's coming in. And so now we have believers. And so to Ernest's point, we just have a firm belief in your idea. Go for it. And really be okay with failing because that's what life's about. If you do fail, just get back up and keep going. That's right. All right. Well, thank you guys for joining us and good luck with everything. What do you and go to com? But thank yes, you, smileshield.com. We, we love the Breakfast Club. Yes. I watch you guys like every morning. Just want to make sure you guys know <laughs> I love the hell out of everything you guys are doing. Thank you. Thank, thank you so you much. Ernest. Thank you, Barbara. Right, have a good one, guys. Peace to the smiles. Peace. <laughs>